Hi everyone, today I'll be showing you how to use the optics compensation effect in a zoom transition. Before we we'll get started, please leave a like on this video and subscribe to our channel. It helps out our channel a lot with the YouTube algorithm. I have already created a composition and created a clip. However, I'll still need to cut it. You can split up a layer by pressing Ctrl, Shift and D on your keyboard. Now that we have our layers ready, let's apply the effect named Optics Compensation. Let's create a keyframe at the start of our first layer with the FOV value set to 60. Now let's create another keyframe at the end of your layer with the FOV value set to 115. As you can see, the layer bends the wrong way. This is because we need to check the reverse lens distortion checkbox. Once we enable this checkbox, the effect will invert. Also, open the skill settings by selecting the layer and pressing S on your keyboard. Make a keyframe at the start of your layer with the value 100, and at the end make a keyframe with the value 300. I'm going to move this keyframe one frame to the right and enable motion blur. The reason of why I'm doing this is because of the motion blur. It will behave in a weird way if you do not do this. Everything about this is explained in our how to make smooth transitions tutorial. Bring up all the animated effects by selecting the layer and pressing U on your keyboard. Select all the keyframes and easy ease them by right clicking, keyframe assistant, easy ease or simply press F9. I'm going to adjust the graphs a bit to make it look a bit better. Now for the second layer, apply the effect called Motion Tile. Put the output width and height to 350 and make sure Mirror Edges is enabled. Next, apply the Optics Compensation effect and set the FOV to 90. Make sure to check the Reverse Lens Distortion checkbox. Bring up the scale settings again by selecting the layer and pressing S on your keyboard. I'm going to make a keyframe at the start of the layer with the value of 45 and one at the end of the layer with the value of 100. Bring up all the keyframes like we did before by selecting the layer and pressing U on your keyboard. Select all of your keyframes and easy ease them. I'm going to adjust these graphs a bit to make it look better. And now you have a smooth optics compensation zoom transition. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and leave a like on this video. That's all for today. Till next time. Bye.